Hey guys, uh, hope everybody's staying safe out there. Um, I get out to do some work on the Colorado LS swap project and today we're going to be painting the engine as you can see. I'm taping everything off and uh, just getting things ready. Um, I sped this video up as much as I could so you wouldn't get too bored with me cleaning up the engine and stuff and I kind of skipped some of the parts here but this is just getting everything taped up uh, I used masking tape on a lot of it and I had that black stuff that's just Gorilla Tape uh, that I put over the intake ports there so I wouldn't get any paint or dirt down in there and this is just a uh, primer, just gray trim clad oil based primer that I'm spraying on right now. And uh, what I decided to do was do all the top end of the engine first, um, get it all painted and then I could lift it up with the engine hoist and paint the base pan and everything too. So this was the easiest way to do it to get all the bottom end painted and plus you're not bent over trying to paint the engine on the floor too so I just thought paint the top first and then I can put it on the engine hoist and get it up in the air so yeah So yeah, now I'm just using some, uh, this is just some uh, trim clad oil based uh, aluminum gloss paint. I had, I just had this sitting on the shelf. Um, I had a whole can of it actually sitting on the shelf. So I thought, may as well use it. Um, freshen up the engine, make it look a little better. Um, yeah. and I uh, now I'm just gonna start cleaning the bottom end this is I got it up on the hoist now so um, yeah this engine uh, my son actually started building this engine he, he put the cam in it and the springs the valve springs um, and he had painted the bottom end of this engine and I noticed I was just blowing some dirt off the side of the engine one day and I noticed uh, paint flakes coming off the engine and I thought wow that's weird he painted this anyway come to find out he did not put any primer uh, on first he just painted right over the steel so I believe that's what the problem was it, it just didn't have any primer there to to prep the surface and uh, the paint that he put on is just flaking off so so uh, that was part of the reason I decided to do the paint job on it and uh, also I was waiting for some parts to come in um, so I just thought well while I'm waiting for parts to come in I may as well clean the engine up make it look better so uh, that's just a little wire brush I have on the end of the DeWalt drill um, and DeWalt is not sponsoring me either um, actually I don't get sponsored by anybody right now so um, just want to make that clear <laughs> everything I use in my videos I pay for myself um, and if there ever is a sponsor I will certainly let you know um, but yeah it's uh, just getting it cleaned up and 
get it ready for the primer. And those there oil cooler lines, I'm going to pull them off uh, a little bit later here. I should have took them off by now instead of trying to clean around them. But after I get paint in here, I, I realize why the heck am I leaving them on there? So Yeah. And my father just came in there for a visit to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing. And there I'm just using the, that's just trim clad primer, gray primer, oil based. Um, that's usually what I use for my, uh, for my primer. It's my go-to primer and uh, it seems to work pretty good. Um, I've had good luck with it. Uh, usually when I spray it on, as long as I prep the surface fairly good first. Uh, it sticks pretty good and any any top coat paint I put over it I haven't had any trouble with uh, like paint reacting to it or anything like that so that's why I've continued to use it um, So at this point, it's all painted aluminum, nice shiny aluminum paint. And honestly, it's a lot of aluminum. And I'm kind of thinking, 
Maybe this is too much aluminum. It looks good. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's just a little bit too much aluminum. So I started to think, hmm, this would probably look better if I put some a different color in there to help break up some of that uh, aluminum, that shiny aluminum. So I went and looked on my shelf of cans of paint to see what I had and I did find something so now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna tape off the heads because I want the heads and stuff to stay aluminum looking but I'm gonna change the color of the engine block uh, and also the base pan I'm gonna leave that um, aluminum too I just think it looks better this way. Um, I just thought that was too much aluminum. So, anyway, just taping everything off here. And I'm not being too fussy with this. I mean, it's just an old engine going in an old truck. So, I'm just trying to make it look a little bit better. So what do you guys think? Does that look better than all aluminum? I think it does. I hope it does. Anyway. And this, uh, I don't know what happened to my footage of uh, priming the transmission here. Because I did have some footage of priming it and cleaning it up. But I can't find it. Anyway, so um, basically same thing, uh, just use trim clad primer and that's just the aluminum trim clad uh, gloss paint that I'm putting on now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everybody stay safe out there. Um, there's going to be more videos to come. Uh, hopefully the next one is going to be installing the engine. Um, but we'll see, uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, if you have any questions, please ask. Bye for now.